So, let me finish by going back to the initial question. Why is it that we grow to be larger than mice? I've already told you that we have, the reason we're bigger than mice is that we have more cells than mice. The reason we have more cells is that on average human cells divide more before they stop than do mouse cells. But the question is, why do they divide more times before they stop? Is it because the intracellular timer, uh, timers that I've been talking about that help determine how long the cells divide before they stop are set differently, are programmed differently, so that cells divide much longer in humans uh, before they stop because of an intrinsic uh, timer mechanism set in this way? Or is it that the signals the mitogens, the growth factors that are responsible for driving the growth and proliferation of human cells are around longer than they are in the mouse. My guess is that both of these things will turn out to be true, but the fact is we don't know and we don't know largely because uh, this problem hasn't been studied in this way. So what I have ignored is the fact that most of us don't look like mice. Not only are we larger than mice, but we don't look like mice. And the reason we don't look like mice is because these local controls on growth, so that you get a nose and you get ears of this shape and so on, are controlled differently in a mouse from in a human. And we know very little about the local controls uh, that pattern growth control such that humans have bigger heads than mice and they don't have the same uh, facial appearance uh, and so on. Anyway, this is a really important problem in development, growth control, and it needs more people working on it. So it just remains for me to thank the people who I think I've mentioned uh, throughout this talk uh, who made all this uh, work possible and I'm grateful to them. They're an outstanding group of people. Without them I wouldn't be here today. So thanks.